it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a book haul. I have 20 books here to share with you all before I put them on my shelves. A couple of them are from publishers and I actually have quite a few that I bought myself because Facebook Marketplace is a deadly place to scroll. That's all I'm saying. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have, I actually have already read a while back. So when Penguin emailed me asking if I wanted a finished copy of it, I said, absolutely. It is Sync by Ellen Hopkins. I collect all of Ellen Hopkins books. I just find them so easy to read and I just love them. This is the story about twins Storm and Lake. They kind of have this telepathic connection. They are in the foster care system but they end up being separated. I believe I gave this a four out of five stars. I really really enjoyed it so I'm very excited that I get to add it to my collection. Next up I received received Guardians of Dawn Ami. This is the sequel to Zara. I have not actually read the first book so I don't really want to know what the book is about so I'm not gonna lie I have not looked at it but this did come with some cool stickers and a signed book plate. I do need to get my hands on the first book in the series so that I can pick this up but it does say that it is The Last Airbender meets Beauty and the Beast so that sounds really cool if you ask me. Next up I received Holly Horror The Longest Night. This is the sequel to the first Holly Horror book which I do actually own but I am trying to save this and the first book for Halloween time because it just seems like the perfect book for that time of year but I am excited to dive into this duology. I think it's a duology when the time comes. Next up I received The Infinite Light of Dust. This is the third and final book in Anna Todd's A Brightest Star trilogy so now that I own all three of them I am definitely going to be binging this series. It's a romance so I need to be in the mood for that but hopefully I am very soon. The next book that I received is Under the Surface by Diana Urban. This follows Ruby and Sean. They have feelings toward each other but neither of them have told one another. One day they are in Paris on their senior trip of high school when Ruby's best friend goes and meets a French boy. Ruby decides to follow her with two of her classmates but they get a little bit distracted by a party that is taking place under the catacombs. But they they never end up at this party because they are being chased by something that lives in the catacombs. I think it sounds so spooky. This is another one that I do think I'm going to save for the fall time, but thankfully it is only two months away, so I will be picking this up fairly soon. Next up, I received A Rose by Any Other Name by Mary McVine. This takes place in England in 1591. It follows a woman named Rose who is accused by her town of being a witch, so she flees with her her best friend and they start practicing witchcraft and join the occult and that brings them to the doorstep of William Shakespeare and a love fest ensues. I think it sounds very intriguing. I am very interested in picking this up and it is available on audiobook so that makes me very excited. Next up I received Vilest Things by Chloe Gong. This is the sequel to Immortal Longings which I do not own so I desperately need to find a copy. I've been meaning to to read that book for so long now. I need to find a copy that is not $35, thank you Canada book prices, and nobody seems to be putting it into the thrift store because it's probably a really good book. So once I get my hands on that, I will be picking this up. I am very intrigued by this series as a whole. I didn't even know she was coming out with a second book to that book, so I'm very, very excited to have it in my hands. And then I also received The Enchanted Lies of Celeste Artis. This is by Ryan Grodin. And this book is a heck of a chonker. It is 530 pages, um, so that is quite intimidating to me, but it does sound very good. It says that it is a lush and lyrical fantasy, and it transports readers to the hidden magical pockets of early 1900s Paris, a place of enchanted salons, fortune tellers who can change your stars, and doorways 
more ways that can take you to the most unexpected places. And there's also a little black cat, so I'm hoping that it is somehow like a familiar or something like that. I'm so intrigued. Then I received five books from Frenzy. It is five of Alice Oseman's books, which I am so excited to have in my hands. The first one is I Was Born For This, then I have Loveless, then Nick and Charlie, Solitaire, and finally Radio Silence, and they're all the like new illustrated covers, which I am so stinking excited about. I'm so excited to have them on my shelves and display them. I still don't own the Heartstopper comics, and those are my favorite graphic novels other than Adventure Zone, so I really do hope that I get my hands on them soon, but that is another one that is never in the thrift store, because obviously it's a good book. Now, moving on to the books that I bought myself off of Facebook Marketplace, I have three by the infamous Emily Henry. I have Beach Read, I have People We Meet on Vacation, and I have Happy Place. The only two that I don't own now are Funny Story and Book Lovers. I hope to one day get my hands on those. I feel like I am the only person on this planet who loves books and has not read an Emily Henry book, so I decided to fix that problem and um, I found three of them. These will be read very soon and then hopefully I can get my hands on book lovers and funny story. The next one I am so so excited about it is The Familiar by Lee Bardugo with the black sprayed edges and this only cost me ten dollars. It's got gorgeous end pages and honestly I thought that this was a vampire novel. Apparently it's not. Um, so I cannot say that I truly know what it is about but it is gorgeous and it is on my shelf and I am happy about it. And in that same purchasing order that I did on Facebook Marketplace, I also picked up Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young. I have just been eyeing this book for a really long time. I read the Fable series by this author. Honestly, I think I've picked up all of her books and usually enjoy her writing, so I decided to also add this to my collection as well. And then the next two books are like fantasy romance, romanticy if you will. I believe. I could be wrong about the first one. But the first one is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I actually don't think this is romanticy. I think it is just regular old romance. But I do believe that this is like the romance of this family who owns the equivalent of Disneyland. It's like the sons of this corporation or whatever. Um, and I believe that they all have their own books. I could be very wrong, but I see this book everywhere, and I honestly have not attempted to look up the synopsis of it. All I knew was that it's popular, and it was only five dollars, so I was like, oh, why not? She lives pretty close to my house, so I can go pick it up real quick and perhaps jump on the bandwagon. I am very much a lover of Disney, so I'm hoping that this gives Disney vibes. And then the final book that I have is A Romanticy. I know that for a fact. And it is The Serpents and the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. I see this book all over Book Talk. I'm not on Book Talk, but I see Instagram reels, which are essentially just TikToks put on very late. I've wanted this for so long because a lot of people were saying that it's really, really good. So I want to jump on the bandwagon as well. So now I own the first one. If I like it, then I can try to find the second one on Facebook Marketplace as well. All right, everybody. So those were the 20 books that I have acquired over the last two months, which is a shocking amount, to be honest. So let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and which ones you think I should read first, because there are 20 of them, like I said. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!